In this section, I want to show you one more example of assembly. Here, I want to have several instances of one, play, uh, one part, and I want to have a pattern to assemble them together. So let's go and select the first part. I want to go to part design, and the first part is going to be an eject plate, and the instances are going to be eject pins inside that plate. So let's select the name right here, eject plate, and hit OK. And by hitting OK, I want to go to XY plane, go to sketching environment, and draw a rectangle. This rectangle should be 150 by 250. So I type in 150 here and 250 here. And again, I need some equidistance or symmetry between these. So oh, I should go back to sketch environment. So I double click on a sketch and go back here because if you want to have a creative sense, it's possible. So I'll select the lines by pressing control button and select the origin. But I want to have symmetry. Both are the same here. In this context, uh, there's no difference between the equidistance sense or symmetry. But somehow, you may want to select the origin and select equidistance sense from this. You can see the symbol is a little different. So here, there is no difference between these two. So I have a padding. This padding should be about 25 millimeter, and I click on OK, and this is down. Now, I want to select the bottom face of this plate, and by selecting this bottom face, I want to go to Insert Menu, Sketch Base Feature, and select a hole here. This hole is of type up to less, and the diameter is 12 millimeters. So I type in 12 here, or select 12 here and here. And in second tab, in type, I want to select the counter song type. And the depth and the angle is OK for me. So I click on OK. You can see the hole is created here. But this is not in the correct place. So I double click on a sketch 2, and I can see that the whole sketch is selected here. I want it to be about 20. 5 millimeters from one side and 30 millimeters from the other side. So this is 30. And I select this and this line. No, this is already defined. I want it to select this and this line. And this should be 25. So I type in 25. Now I exit my workbench and you can see that the hole is calculated again. Now I want to have it um, in a rectangular fashion, so I select Insert, go to Transformation Features, and select Rectangular Patterns, and it tells me that I select a part. So I select this hole as the object. So let's go and have the instances. I want three instances, 45 millimeter from each other, and the reference element is going to be this smaller side. And you can see that the object is not selected correctly. I go to object and highlight it and select the hole like this. The direction is correct, so I don't need to click on reverse or in this little arrow. I go to second direction here. I want to have about five instances 50 millimeters away from each other. The reference element is going to be this uh, side. I can see that everything is OK. I click on OK, click Save, and save the eject plate. Now I want to have another part. I can close this window, I can have it open, doesn't matter. I prefer to close it. So I go to Parts and Environment this time. I want to have an eject pin. So I hit OK, and start drawing a very simple profile in ZX plane. So let's go to ZX plane and press the, the, the uh, sketch button. I want to start drawing like this. I want to go right, go down, go to right, go to left, and finish this. Now I have some constraints here, but I need more constraints. For example, I want to make sure that this angle is about 45. So this is 45. 
I want to have a distance. Let's zoom in. Between this point and this line, and I want it to be about five millimeter. You remember the counter sunk pin that had a five millimeter of depth. So this is this. I want this to be six millimeter. I remember that the diameter of that pin was 12. So this is six. And I want this line to be 80. So I type in 80 here. And the other thing, I select this origin, press control button, select this point, and make sure that there's a coincidence between these two. Now I exit my workbench and the other tool that I need here is shaft. I can go to insert menu and select it from here. That is a better idea. I want the full round. The selection of axis is the this line. Or I can select one of the axes, for example, the Z-axis. I select it and click on OK. You can see that this is created for me. So I press Control S and save this as well. And close this. Now let's go to Assembly Design Environment. So I go to Mechanical Design, select Assembly Design Environment. Click on Product. Uh, click Insert and select the existing component. Select these two and open them. Now, the first thing I want to do is to add a coincidence between the axis of this pin and the axis of one of these holes. I prefer to have this hole. You can see that it is a little hard to grab the axis. I zoom in. Now I can grab the axis. I press Ctrl U. Now, let's rotate and go to the other face. If I select the Manipulate tool, and select the z-axis and grab this pin. You can see that it is moving and I don't want to have this like this. I want to go to insert menu and select the offset tool from here. Select this face and select this face of pin and make sure that there is a zero millimeters of distance between these two. Now you can see that by pressing Ctrl U everything is in place and it cannot move freely. Okay. Now I have created this. Now I want to have several instances of this pin and I want them to be in other uh, holes here. And by the way, I forgot to fix one of these components. Uh, I prefer to fix this component. You can see the anchor and tells me that eject plate is fixed. Now one of the constraints that is very nice is reuse constraint. Reuse pattern constraint, of course. I select this because I have already a pattern here. I can use this. So let's go and select a pattern. The pattern is going to be a rectangular pattern. So I can open the eject plate and find the pattern from here. On the part body, I have a rectangular pattern. I click on here. You can see that it is found here now in 15 more instances are there and next it asks me which instance do you want to replicate using this pattern so the only instance that i want to select is the eject pin so i select it now you can see that it is replicating the eject plates and uh, eject pins inside the eject plate and put them in a correct position I can see that there are two constraints, one coincidence and one offset, and both of them are applied to the eject pins here. So I click on OK. Everything is there, and you can see the replication and the assembly.